Hello and welcome back to Life in the Village 3. Where me and the old clunky today are going to get on with a few upgrades. Yes guys, my new computer hasn't arrived just yet so I'm left with old clunky. Uh, and I'm also left with a, a big chunk out of my finger people. I decided to butcher myself. Uh, I got a new meat cleaver and it's my own fault. Because I was in the kitchen cooking and it wasn't even on a piece of meat. It was on an onion that was chopping up to do a casserole. Uh, and I lifted it and brought it down. Luckily it's razor sharp because it's took like a millimetre. Uh, like depth and like a five pence coin, if you're British. Uh, out of my finger. So yes, I'm a wounded soul today. A wounded soul indeed. How are you guys? I hope you're all doing okay. So, upgrades on the old house fronts. Let's see what we've got, people. Spruce plank shingles and oak plank shingles. They're done on the architect's cutter. More spruce plank ones. That's actually pretty easy. A frame block of copper. I'm not sure whether I've shown you how to make them. I think I have. Right, but if you look at it, it's quite straightforward. Nothing worth getting your knickers in a twist over. So, yes. Uh, bricks. It's That's going to be a process. We've got the... The clay stuff. But I need to get it all smelted up and turn it into bricks. So I'm going to stick Elian on that one. Because he's a little Elian. We are going, that's another house there, isn't it? We're going to do this one also. And we are going to pop Rosemary on that one. She likes to slack. She's a professional procrastinator, people. Try saying that fast. Luckily, I'm not having issues with words right now. Luckily. So that's three, four houses we've got here. We might as well just get them all up, peeps. And get these people into our colony. Because we are needing more people. So build our alia. He can do that one. And then we'll pop over to our next one. And we'll go and do that one. And I can get them all supplied. I'm not sure about a build battle as such. I'll try guys and I'll see how it ends up. How's about that? I'm not going to make no promises because people who break promises are just lousy. Right, so we've got them four getting ready to rock and roll. I also want to pop into my university and we'll go and see what Kelly is up to. Because we have upgraded the mine, I think we still need to do the forester's hut. So if we have a little look here, can we actually get any technology bits in yet? Right, so we need the farms totaling three levels. We can get soft shoes, but I'm not into that at the minute. Hot, hot, hot. That unlocks the smell tray. Now, we need four lava buckets for that, which should be easy. Do you know what? We're going to unlock that. And then, my dear, once we've upgraded our houses, we'll come and upgrade your building. How does that sound? Yep, I thought she might agree. So I'm going to bob off. I am going to get four buckets of lava. And I'm also going to supply the colonists with what they need to get these houses upgraded. Woo, guys, we're expanding. We're expanding. So all supplied and ready to go. Ready to rock and ready to roll. Right, let's head on in. Let's go see Kelly. Because we have our four lava buckets. Did you know, friends, that... Remember that stairway that I did? That went, like, from inside my caves. Now, you'll know which one I mean. At the bottom of that, it literally takes you out right at the uh, underground, the ancient city. So, it's a bit of a shortcut. We literally went round the long way. Do you know what? Do you know what, friends? Do you know what? Where's it gone? Because them flies bother me greatly. Come here, fly. Fly. 
maggot, anyone. Oh, got two, two maggots, people. They are chickens. Have some feed. Right, so they're all supplied. Uh, they should be heading back up. Oh, a couple of them have actually started getting on with it. Do you want a bit of a time lapse, friends? A little bit of a time lapse. Four way builders. Let's go. So, friends, I know I said about time lapse and stuff, but they're placing one block and they're buggering off, so it's really hard to put any foundation to the time lapse whatsoever. Rosemary's really lagging behind. Like, really lagging behind. What I want to do at the minute, while we're waiting for them to get the things up and running, I'm going to show you what I mean when I said about getting to the deep dark straight from the tunnel thing that I've got down here. Now, let me show you. And we're going to have a look in the mine as well. And I also want to go over to the tree farm and get that on the upgrade horizon. Where am I going? Right, so this little area, this was more towards the beginning of the series. So if we come down here... don't really want to be making a noise. <laughs> Shoot. Ah, oh, we've got no ladders to get back up, people. Right, so we're going to go in stealth mode. And I'm going to see... Holy shoot, people. Well, I did actually forget about them. Please, no life loss. Not right now. Do you know what? I've got so much XP that I really would rather not. Like, there's a shrieker right there. I should have brought some torches down with me. But the city is literally here. Let's have a look on the map. Oh, we're actually in the city, peeps. So, I think we're looking at this away. Try and be quiet, because I don't want the big boy coming out and giving me a good old smacking. But look, there we go. Right there is your ancient city. Oh, gosh. Guys, I'm getting out, man. I'm getting out. So that was not close at all whatsoever. Let's go on up to the mine, and let's go and see what is going on about that. Oh, hot, hot, hot. We've unlocked the smelter. Now, the smelter is going to come down here. Let's see what Austin's up to. Right, so she has cut. Oh, she's come down a fair way, hasn't she? And it looks like she's started digging through here. Ah, look what she's found. So they're coming along nicely, but I'm not really seeing any diamonds in my midst. What can I do I'd like you? to have some diamonds, Austin, is what I'd like to have. I'd like to have some diamonds. Right before we go over to the foresters and upgrade that building. Let's get some bigger builds in, peeps. Let's get some bigger builds in. And over to the foresters we go, go, go. Let's have a little look at what is going to be required to make this. Now, it seems like Wayne's not there. So, Wayne's been a Wayne, people. Build options on this. Let's see if we have anything difficult. Fancy strip dark oak log door. Stripped oak logs is a pain in the ass, but it's not difficult. Right, so, Elian will be doing that one. So, we're getting that on our upgrade agenda. I do need to start some paths and such going around our little colony. And I think I might do that on the next episode unless something else comes up that I need to do. Now, in between episodes, I'm thinking of getting the guard towers upgraded. They are a drawn-out, tedious process. Where am I going, people? Where am I going? There is another building I need to upgrade. And I think it's the university. So we're going to head on down there. 
I'm not sure whether, not that one, my tavern is a tier 2 or not. Let's go and have a look at the tavern. And then we can get this upgraded if needs be. So I'm assuming the block is up here. Right, so it is a tier 1. So build a rosemary. We'll stick that on the upgrade list. And I'm also going to stick the university. So we'll have the university ready to rock and roll. People, where am I? Right, now I know. I'm getting myself so confused. Those houses should be coming along nicely. No, that is the same one. So we've got a 44%, a 22 a 37 And Rosemary's at 17 Told Told you guys, she's a professional slacker. Rosemary does not like to do work. So we're going to come in here so Kelly can do more work. Oi! That was a face plant straight into the wall. Kelly's gone home. Kelly, where have you... Get your ass back here, girl. What are you doing? What are you doing? That needs about four things. Right, so that's you on that. Where are you going? Yes. She's not had a house for over two weeks and she's getting upset. Don't mention it again, pet. Or you'll not get a house. Oh, guys, the joys of running a colony. The absolute joys. Anyway, I think it's looking pretty good so far, don't you? Let me know what you think. I'm going to head on off and I'm going to bring you back when these houses are closer to being ready to go. And then we'll get some more little babies coming in. Or colonists. Depends what comes first. <laughs> What do you mean we've got no floor? We've got no floor, you say? Oh, guys, I got bored. I seriously got bored. Now, let me just pick these bits of dirt up because I may need them. That's before Ada gets them. Ada, they like to thief, guys. They like to thief. As soon as you drop a block on the floor, guarantee the bee lining for it. Right, so, progress is being made. Rosemary's finally got her arse into gear. But our champion, at the moment, is Elian. Our little Elian. And I think it's this one over here, which is Elian's. Now, I know we didn't quite get the time lapse that I was going to do. But what I want to do, guys, while I'm hanging about, because I'm bored, I'm going to go down into our quarters and I'm going to turn this dirt and a bit of gravel into something that could potentially look a little bit better one two three four right we've got 11 gravel left let's head on over to our little area here into the botanists and what I want to do is grab some dirty gravel Oh, I don't want that. Or do I? Let's have a look what we've got on here. Cobbled dirt. Carved dirt. Dirt mini tiles. Brick bordered dirt. Flat tiled dirt. Inlaid dirt. See, I kind of want to. Let's just give me a couple of them. The loaded dirt. No. So basically, they look like lodestones. I don't think I can get the kind of texture I'm looking for. Now let's turn that into trodden dirt. Because we've got that. And we've got... Alia, just get moving, mate. Get moving. And we've got our dirty gravel. So I'm thinking that looks quite nice together. Maybe with, like, some normal gravel thrown in the mix. So we can have something that looks a little bit more like that. Obviously, it'll be random. So, we're going to go and do our bit of a time lapse. But I'm just going to go and do the path instead, people. Get ready for the tunes. Let's hit it.
So here is our beautiful path, people. What do you think of that? It certainly makes a difference, doesn't it, from the general grass. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing with the edges yet, whether I want to put slabs there or stairs or something there. But at least we've got a bit of uh, fundamentals down for our actual colony path. So looking at the buildings, they're still dragging the feet, people. They're still dragging the feet. Rosemary is just rendered useless at this moment in time. And obviously, they're running out of stuff that I've already given to them. Which is also good. Uh, but yeah, Elian is the closest to being finished. And I do believe Elian's is right there. We're not going to go into it yet. We're just going to let him finish off. And it doesn't look too bad, does it? It doesn't look too bad at all. Now let me go and sort these bleeding builders out before I lose my marbles. All it took was a little visit down to the warehouse because these curries like to pinch also. Yes, that is always nice to hear. Now let's go and have a little look here. Eh? At this residence right here. Oh, friends. Oh, we've got a fireplace. What's that? Oh, and they've also got a kitchen. Hmm. Not sure if that's healthy. Pulls the shelf down, people. I wouldn't do that again. So, yes, it's quite a, quite a nice area. I'm surprised there's no baddies spawning up here, mate. I'd spam them torches. That's why I brought spares, people. And I think he's just getting rid of, like, the old... Yeah, it's the old building stuff. So he's just getting rid of that. But that is our tier 2 home, friends. And it looks quite nice, doesn't it? I think it does anyway. You let me know what you think in the comments. And drop me a few suggestions of what to do around the edges of these paths. It would be much appreciated, my friends. It would indeed. Uh. Anyway, friends, that brings us to the end of an episode. I hope you have enjoyed it. And if you have, you know what to do. Hit like. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Take care. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.